Vettel is on the right-hand side of your picture. Then Massa, Alonso just behind. Hamilton behind Massa, Rosberg, then Weber. We wait, and we're away now in 2010. Four world champions, and we are underway. Down towards that first corner, Lewis Hamilton makes a move, but it's Vettel from Massa, from Alonso. With a move up there by Michael Schumacher, who seems to have got ahead. There was a problem there. Is it for Mark Webber? Mark Webber, there's all sorts of blue smoke coming out of the rear of his Contact car Contact the back, cars across the gravel, all going off at the back end of the field. Whether it's the Red Bull overfilled with oil or whether he's actually blown the right bank of that V8, we'll find out shortly. Here we are with Michael Schumacher, with Nico Rosberg just ahead there of a McLaren. Just see, it's Hamilton. Vettel, Alonso, Massa, Rosberg. And now Jensen Button jousting with Mark Webber as they make way they through the infield section, coming up to turn eight and nine. Oh, Button was well out of shape as well as we cut away. He kept it together, but look how much gap he lost to the Red Bull. And uh, so I think it was just an overfull oil tank, the, the blue smoke. By the way, Mark Webber has dropped down to eighth. Martin, he's dropped two places. Michael Schumacher's benefited. Nico Rosberg gained as well. And whoever spun in the back appears to, uh, it's now clear in sector one, so it suggests that they kept their engines running. It's an anti-stall system that pulls the clutch in for the driver. It appears they all got away. But this is important for Vettel. Clear air, he can now start to take advantage. Crucially also, Alonso's managed to get ahead of Felipe Massa. So on the charge there. So the order after the first lap. Vettel from Alonso from Massa. From Rosberg, Hamilton, Schumacher, Button, Weber, Liuzzi and Barrichello. That's the top ten. Petrov, Kobayashi, Hulkenberg, De La Rosa, Aldershuari, Kovalainen. Timo Glock's got ahead there of Sebastian Weber. Good start too for Kovalainen. Degrassi, truly, Kubitz is way down in 21st. I wonder what happened there. Maybe he got caught out in that instant with Mark Weber. Senna and Sutil is down second last with Karen Chanduk out on the road now. This is very much a voyage of reconnaissance, really, for the Hispania racing team. They barely managed seven laps in a row. In fact, for Virgin, they've only managed to put together a run of 12 laps. And here, this race is going to last 49, so a huge demand there. Look at that lead then, two seconds at the end of lap one for Sebastian Vettel. That's a dream start. Now, we think he could be up to 10 kilograms less on fuel, that's four tenths of a second per lap. If you put a 10 kilogram uh, dumbbell in these cars, that's what it would cost you to accelerate, turn and break that extra mass. We think the Red Bull carries less fuel than the Ferraris, and that's why he might uh, be a bit more sprightly at the start of the race. You've got to mind those tires though, you can't take too much out of them. But this looks quite easy for Vettel, doesn't it? Weber's got ahead of Jensen Button, he's now up into seventh place. We're riding there with Lewis Hamilton through this tricky infield section, which really seemed to expose McLaren yesterday. They came away from Friday practice quite bullish, but then the lack of downforce again seemed to be their undoing. Remember last year, they took such a long time to get to the bottom of the problems there. Mid-season it was, finished on a high note. Lewis Hamilton scoring more points than anyone in the second half of 2009. But there was a rude awakening last night for the McLaren engineers, and it remains to be seen what sort of performance they can put in on these longer runs, where Ferrari certainly have been the most consistent of all the cars. Kubica was slow out of that uh, oh dear. damaged Car front wing on Chandok's car. He's been off, obviously. Chandok has lasted barely two laps. So that was the first retirement. So Chandok's gone. We're now with Mark Webber who's uh, looking to make a move on Michael Schumacher. Down the hill they go. Two seconds the advantage over Fernando Alonso for Sebastian Vettel. Three and a half for Vettel over Massa, who just sets the fastest lap of the race, Sebastian Vettel. Just over two minutes, two minutes, 2.517. So Vettel leads, his teammate Mark Webber is seventh. There's, there's the fuel effect for you, eight and a half seconds slower than the front row of the grid qualifying time. Eight and a half seconds. It's a long lap, of course, isn't it? It is a long lap, but it's a lot of time as well. Formula One guy goes a long way in eight and a half seconds. Uh, Mark, uh, Mark Webber was about a metre ahead of his box, uh, his start box, and uh, it's about the, the sensors are, are, are 
looking at uh, relative movement. He may just get away with that, but he was a long way forward of his box, even if he was stationary. It's creeping forward, really, that the stewards would take exception to, isn't it? It is, but they... Oh! oh. There's Nico Hockenberg going right off, and he almost collects another car there. Now, what happened there? Well, he, he got a lot of oversteer that he turned into, and then uh, sort of did a bit of a tank slapper on him and, and swung the other way, and he couldn't catch it. Either he wasn't fast enough to catch it, or it just uh, totally caught him by surprise. And that's De Grassi going off, just seemingly as if he was following the road quite normally there. I think he was all, all ways going quite steadily when he came into picture, frankly. So another retirement, that's Chandler gone, and now Lucas De Grassi. Here's the start then, Martin. Away goes Vettel. Perfect for Vettel, the Ferrari's uh, line astern. And then Alonso goes right around the outside. He gets himself positioned for turn two, and it's perfect for Alonso. That's why, and the two Force Indias made contact, and somehow they all missed Petrol. I think it was Kubica, Kubica wasn't there, wasn't got caught. Yes, Robert Kubica got caught there. Here we ride then with Alonso. Clever driving here from Alonso. He knows he's going to have track position and Massa will have to yield. Very, done. very similar to the first corner, first few corners in Malaysia, this going right at the end of a long straight. There's the enormous proven uh, smoke from Weber. Yeah, I, and I think what happened is, if you look at Kubica, he was right behind Weber, looking into all that smoke. There's Hulkenberg getting a lot of oversteer. Suddenly, all the contact patches hook up, and it swings the other way. That's going to do his tyres absolutely no good whatsoever. The last thing he needs to do for a... Still running. Is go out onto the gravel 